What's the most devastating thing that you think Jesus would ever say to someone? In Barney's Daily Devotionals, we continue on in Luke's Gospel, and we come to a really challenging passage today as Jesus says something really confronting to all of us uh, about something that he's promising to say in the future. Let's have a look. We're in Luke chapter 13, and we pick it up from verse 22. Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you'll stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. But he'll answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you'll say, we ate and drank with you and we, you, you taught in our streets. But he'll reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. There will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out. People will come from east and west and from north and south and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are those who are last who will be first and first who will be last. It's a confronting passage, isn't it? As Jesus talks about who is going to be in his kingdom in the end. Well, it's not something he raised himself. Someone raised it with him. How many are going to be saved? But it's interesting that it's said in the context, we're told at the start, we're given this reminder that Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. He's going through these villages. He's back in chapter nine. He resolutely set out for Jerusalem and he's told the disciples three or four times that he's going there in order to be rejected, despised, hated, um, arrested, um, tortured and killed. And it's going to be this terrible thing. And this is just a little reminder. We've known that's the case all along, but it just puts it in there that that's when it happened. He's on his way to Jerusalem. Jesus is going through the really hard thing to get there. And, and as he gives his answer to the person's question, who shall be saved? He says, make every effort. Make sure you're one of them. That's what Jesus is asking from us. Make sure you're one of those people. But it is difficult. It's narrow. Why is it narrow? Why is it so difficult to be part of the kingdom of heaven? Well, for lots of reasons. One, because you've got to go against the crowd, right? The whole mass of humanity are living blissfully in their rebellion against God, and you've got to be different. He's called people to repent and to believe, to turn around, and that's really hard. From teenage years, we're uh, taught to... Uh, succumb to peer group pressure to go along with what everyone else is doing. So it's hard for that reason. It's hard because of some of the other things that Jesus has taught about not um, not living for your things, right, and, and money and, and not having a, another God in your life. But we love things and we love the, the stuff around and we love people's praises. We love all sorts of things in place of God. And so that's hard to break, break the, the stranglehold of sin in our lives. Um, but that's, uh, we've got, I mean, he's calling us to resist that. I mean, he's paying for it. It's not like we earn our salvation. So it's not narrow and difficult for that reason. It's actually really easy to become a Christian and to be a follower of Jesus and to know you're saved by, you got to trust Jesus, but trusting Jesus itself is difficult, right? Trusting him with your life, trusting him in every moment, trusting that his leadership is right, trusting that his promises are good, trusting that his death and resurrection are enough. And so um, he tells a story about um, the owner of a house. There's a cutting off point. You know, there's a point at night where you close the door and no matter who's banging on the door, you say, no, come back tomorrow. But in this case, it's closed once and for all. That is, there is a judgment day. And there is a time when in all of our lives it's too late, that is in our death. And we've got to take stock of that. And we don't know when Jesus is going to return. The, the day is coming when the door will be closed. And so Jesus says, you've got to take it seriously. Be part of that people. I, I want you there. I love you. I'm dying for you. I'm going to give you everything. Uh, but it is challenging and you've got to make every effort. You've got to struggle. Christian life is not an easy journey. And we've got to realize that. But what's interesting, and though it's narrow and difficult and many will turn away, look at who he says are included. 
Well, there's the prophets, you know, sorry, the fathers of old, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all the prophets, you know, those who held on. But you look at their lives and none of them are easy. They struggled uh, along, uh, rejected by people. They uh, suffered indignities. Uh, Moses, the whingers, they just grumbled about his leadership every step of the way through those 40 years. Jeremiah thrown down a well. Uh, they were trying to kill him uh, for, for just teaching the truth and uh, loving the people. Uh, all of the prophets mm -hmm. suffered. Elijah thought he was alone as he stood against the prophets of Baal and the idolatry. But they will be there. They will be there. And, and we're called on to be like them, to trust, to have faith like them, to walk like them. Hebrews chapter 11 points out the aspects of many of these people's faith that we're to imitate um, and, uh, but then he says, people will come from the east and west and north and south. That is, people will come from all over the world. Uh, he's talking about places outside of Israel. He's, he's pointing to the fact that, that God's heart is for everyone. It's not restricted to, you know, his Old Testament people, the Jews. It never was. The promise to Abraham in the beginning was that he would bring blessing to the entire world and that his descendant would be the key. So... There are going to be people there, but it's not who you expect. I think that's Jesus' point. It's not who you expect. It's all kinds of strangers from outside. It's all kinds of people from international communities. And he's, in the end, he says, many who are last will be first, and many who are first will be last. There's, you've got to take stock and think, do I think of myself as someone? Well, if you do, there's a great warning there. No, it's the, it's the last who will be first in God's kingdom. It's people you would never expect, people you would never have thought would make it in. But that's wonderful news for us because it means anyone can make it, right? No matter what's our past, what skeletons are in the closet, how dark things have become. Uh, God's promise and kingdom is for anyone who uh, is willing and who wants to be there, but it is difficult and narrow. And so it's... It's a wonderful word and a scary word at the same time from the Lord Jesus as we reflect on it this morning. Are you one of those who are willing to go through the narrow door and uh, climb the narrow path? It is difficult, but it's well worth it because the kingdom of God is everything. And... <laughs> of teeth no one wants to go through that i mean that's the destruction that is coming and the the punishment um it, it's complete rejection and that'll be the hardest thing that jesus ever says to someone away from me you evil doer you didn't want what i wanted i gave everything for you you lived in rejection of me and and even worse now that i've given everything for you you've rejected that as well and so i don't want you part of my kingdom so are you with Jesus? Are you willing to put up with whatever's going on? Are you going with the crowd and floating like a dead dog in the stream? Or have you turned to Christ and you're fighting because you're alive? You're alive, you know the truth, and you want to be like those uh, heroes of faith of old and uh, looking with joy towards the kingdom, which you know is yours, because we don't earn it. Jesus has given it, but it is a hard path and a narrow door. Let's pray. Father, these are challenging words from the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, please help us to be of those who go through the narrow door, who are willing to put up with ridicule and difficulty and uh, whatever it takes to be part of your kingdom. Thank you for your mercy that we don't earn our way, that you pay for it. Nothing could, uh, in our, we couldn't pay for our sins. And so we rejoice in that. But so help us to... Um, uh, point out the truth to love you to walk your ways in everything even if everyone else in the world is against that father please help us to love you and uh, let your kingdom shape our lives help us to be like the prophets of old um, and stand for you and give us a backbone we pray in jesus name amen god bless everyone